Marauders is not an easy game, and I myself got flatlined raid after raid when I first started playing this game. But now, I've put over 200 hours into this game, and learned a ton along the way, and I can guarantee you after watching this video, you're going to learn something that you didn't know before. So let's go ahead and get right into it. So to start it off here, you can hear literally everything on this game, whether it's somebody standing up, crouching down, reloading, changing weapons, pretty much you name and movement on this game and enemy players or teammates can hear it. So if you've ever been ratting, sitting in a corner, thinking you were being fully silent and you crouch down or switch weapons, that noise you hear when you do it, other people can hear that too and that's probably why you died. Next up, this game has crouch jumping actually. So if you've ever been trying to get up somewhere or on a weird ledge or something like that and you can't, try crouch jumping because odds are you can probably get up there. So have have you ever been peeking left and just gotten absolutely obliterated before you could really even see the person? Well, yeah, you probably have, and that's because you should not peek left in this game. I don't know why, and I don't know how to fully explain it, but if you peek left, the enemy can see you before you can see them, basically, or like they have the the advantage over you but if you peek right it's fair game so if you've ever peeked left and been shot and like whoa that guy's probably a cheater it's probably just because you peeked left i know tarkov has this too if you guys know more about this let me know down in the comments below while we're on the topic let's talk about gunplay a little bit more also you can shoot through pretty much every wooden box in this game pretty much any piece of wood in this game and i'm pretty sure cloth and fabrics as well there is bullet penetration and you can die through walls so yeah don't stand behind things that look like they could be shot through pretty much now next is a pretty cool little trick that's probably going to be patched before too long but this crate right here near security on asteroid mine if you get down here on the steps just right at the right angle you can loot it without having a lock pick so for those of you who can't tell the maps apart from the outside i'm going to show you how to do that right now so this is what asteroid mine looks like this is what terraformer looks like this is what spaceport looks like this is what penal colony looks like this is what Navy Command looks like. This is what the Merchant Frigate looks like. And this is what the Capital Ship looks like. This next one is really short, but it's very useful if you don't know about it. So first off, I guess you can middle mouse click meds and food to use them from your inventory. But also, while you're reloading, you can also use a med at the same time, and it'll reload and heal you at the same time. And that helps tremendously in gunfights. Next up is that shields block damage on your back. Now, none of the other shields really besides the heavy shield are worth picking up because of how small they are. But if you find a heavy shield, it is 100% worth taking to leave on your back because it will block a hundred percent of damage that hits the shield it will even tank multiple terminator shots from point blank range on your back and is by far one of the best items in the game especially if you like to pvp i'm pretty sure right now it's glitched though and once you get into raid you have to like drop it on the ground and pick it up to actually make it be on your back and block bullets but if you find one of these do not leave it laying around so the next thing have you ever been opening up your airlock about to go into the raid and you get absolutely mowed down as soon as the door opens by people camping you on the other side and you wonder how did they know you were there well obviously the gate makes sound but if you walk up to the computer next to an airlock and press F on it it'll tell you if there's a ship there or if somebody's using it and if it says the airlock is in use that means somebody's about to come out and that's probably how the people knew you were in there so the next thing has to do with the exit gates and they are always on opposite sides of each other and what I mean by that is say you spawn in next to spaceport next to the exit gate that a hundred percent means that if navy outpost is the other map you're on the right side of spaceport next to the exit gate the other exit gate is going to be on the left side of the navy map a hundred percent of the time they are right across from each other so this right here is a cool spot on navy outpost it's right above the drop pods and once you figure out how to do this little jump right here it becomes super easy and it is a crazy op spot i've never seen anybody even notice me while i'm shooting at them while i'm up here but uh that's really gonna wrap it up for this one if you you guys learned something make sure to drop a like and subscribe if you think i missed something that everybody should know let us know down in the comments below i'll see you in the next one